guys, it's your girl T. And I want to go ahead and shout out VH1 Access. VH1 Access wanted to know my opinion on this crazy situation. It's about a pastor in Waco, Texas. His name is AJ Amir. And basically, he's banning women from his church who wear hair weaves. So this is causing a huge controversy. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clip. And I'll come back with the rest of my commentary. This next story might have you scratching or patting your head. A pastor in Waco wants to ban hair weaves from his church. Oh, hell yeah. Pastor A.J. Amir of the Resurrecting Faith Church says a woman wearing a weave is a sign of low self-esteem. We stopped by the Super Weave Express on Richmond to see what they had to say about that. If they want to have a weave, no weave, dye, no dye braids, it doesn't matter. It doesn't define anybody's self-esteem. Most women come in the salon to get a weave because it's low maintenance. They don't have to come in to the salon for two or three months and it saves money. Weave is so versatile, you can do anything with it. It's just something that's convenient and more like an accessory. It's not to say that you have low self-esteem. It's just like buying a new pair of shoes or a new shirt, it's just to make you feel more glamorous or prettier. So is he gonna ban makeup too? The pastor told AmericaPreachers.com, quote, our black women are getting weaves trying to be something and someone they are not. Be real with yourself is all I'm saying. If that was my pastor, I would just go to a different church. Worry about what's inside the person, not the exterior, because that's what church is about, right? The pastor said though his congregation is struggling financially, women come to church with $300 weaves. Maybe he should preach on money management, how to you know, have a budget, how to live within your means, but weave isn't the problem. Can I get an amen? Seriously unbeweavable okay so you guys just watched the news clip and i am kind of mixed on this i understand his point because i said it myself on youtube i hate when i see women with their hair the nails done but then you look at the kids the kids look a shitty mess or you know what i'm saying their light bill ain't paid or they're trying to borrow money from you but then they got a 300 dollars lace front you know, I can't stand anyone who doesn't have their priorities in order and they feel like the world owes them something. You're getting food stamps, but you have the latest J's on. You're getting a welfare check, but your hair's always late. You know, like, stuff like that to me is bullshit. So I understand where this pastor is coming from when he's saying that he has members of his church who are struggling. But yet and still, their hair is fried, dyed, and laid to the damn side. You know, I think that's kind of re-damn dickless if you ask me. But with that being said, where does it end? Because it's easy to attack weaves. And it's easy to say that women should just wear their real hair and be natural. And before anybody comes out here and says, I'm wearing some type of weave, this is my real damn hair. I'm 100% natural. Um, but I was a weave wearer. If you guys have been on my channel for any length of time, I was the lace front queen. I used to always wear weave. And I used to wear them as protective styles, as a way to switch up my hair. But as I've gotten older, I just realized it's a bunch of bullshit. And I don't want to be bothered with weaves. And I'd rather just wear my real hair. But it's not for me to judge someone else who feels the need to wear weave. Some people wear weaves because they are insecure with themselves, because they are insecure with their hair texture, because they want to look more Eurocentric. You know, let's be real. Everybody who's wearing weaves is not wearing weaves because it's a protective style or because they're taking care of their natural hair underneath. Some people wear weave because they're self-hating ass bitches. Let's not act like there's not women out here who are swerping down that it's their real hair and, and, and shake it and do all types of shit like it's grown from their scalp. So there's two, there's definitely two groups of women. There's women who wear it just because they want to wear it. It's not because they're self-haters. It's just because it's a choice. Then you have women who definitely wear it because they do have a lot of self-hate issues. With that being said, if we perpetuates a false image of what women look like, then you have to be kind of careful when you say that because there's a lot of things in society that perpetuate a false image of what we all look like as human beings. You know, if we're going to ban weaves, where do we stop? Are we going to ban fake eyelashes? Are we going to start banning breast implants? Are we going to start banning ass injections? There's so many things that people do to so-called enhance themselves or make themselves more appealing to other people. You know, and this also goes for men. Are we going to start telling men they can't get Beijing's and draw those fake ass hairlines? Are we going to tell men that they can't wear toupees? You know, so where does it end? I think instead of judging these women so harshly and saying, well, if you wear a weave, you're banned from my church. I think if you're spending $300 on a weave, but then you're asking the church to pay your light bill, I think at that point in time, they need to take these women aside and put them into some type of financial counseling. Obviously, they have horrible money management skills. If you can sit there and think to yourself, weave, my light bill. Weave, food. Uh, weave wins. If weave wins, as opposed to food in your stomach and lights in your house, 
then bitch, you're just a hood rat, point blank, period. I think a lot of folks just don't have money management skills, and that's the problem. And I think the pastor should have some type of financial classes for his parishioners as opposed to just blaming hair weaves. Because it's not just hair weaves that are making a lot of black people in the black community broke. You got black folks who will stand in line for days on end for the latest LeBron Jameses, for the latest Jordans, for the latest this, the latest iPhone. So it's not just the hair weaves. It's just whatever people like that suits them at that point in time that they're willing to spend money on. Now, I don't know his real intentions, but I think personally that he does care about his parishioners and that he does want the best for them. I would like to thank that because he is a pastor, that it's not coming from a malice or ugly place, that he's just trying to get to he's just trying to get women to see the beauty that they have within themselves as opposed to hiding behind a lace front or hiding behind another ethnicity's hair texture when there's nothing wrong with our own hair texture. We have beautiful hair textures as well. Just because it's bone straight doesn't and make it beautiful you know so I just feel like at the end of the day folks are going to do what they want to do women are going to wear weaves if they want to wear weaves we can't ban weaves you can't stop people from wearing weaves but at the end of the day it's your choice either you're going to stay at this church and remove the hair weave or you can go to another church now, he does have the right to his opinion he does have the right to state what he feels like now as far as banning people I don't know how you know ethical that is but again, if it's his church and the deacons and everybody else agrees with it, then there's really not too much anybody can do. You have a lot of pastors out here who also ride around in Bentleys. They have multiple cars. You have a pastor in Texas who has a personal helicopter. You know, so again, is a helicopter needed? Is a Bentley needed for you to preach the word of God? No, it's not. So it's the same thing. That's why I said you have to kind of be careful when you try and ban other things, but then you don't speak on other things that are also affecting the church and the black community as well. So anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on the entire situation. Do you think the pastor is wrong to ban weaves from his church? Do you agree with his assessment? Or do you feel like, you know, this is just way over the top? And how do you feel about weaves in general? Do you think a lot of women are wearing them because they're self-hating and they don't like their hair? Or do you feel like it's just an accessory and they just want to switch up their look? So let me know your thoughts. All right, deuces.